Right, we're back to discuss uh, Molly's game. Uh, if you saw a review, we both recommended it. We both enjoyed it. Um, a little, a, a little bit of a spoiler slipped out in the beginning because the scene at the end where Kevin Costner's character, who plays Molly's dad, like tells her the th things about herself for the. Like basically analyzes her and does the three years in one session mm -hmm. thing. Um, mm -hmm. That that's just a really really well executed sequence. Mm -hmm. um, they did a good job of concealing what was really going, like what really happened with them, or if it mm -hmm. it, it seemed for most of the mm -hmm. movie like his character had died, but. In reality, she was telling the truth when she was like, she just doesn't have a close relationship with him and all of that. And then he says something toward the end that he received an email from her that basically cut him out of her life. Mm -hmm. um, that scene is really, really good. Um, and I said about, you know, it not having the kind of Sorkin dialogue feel. I think part of that, too, is like, I don't, I don't know this for a fact, but I've, most of the characters, or most of the actors in this movie, I don't think have been in movies of his before. Mm. So it it feels a lot more like they kind of brought their own voice to it. They didn't try to sound like him. They, mm. they kind of... Um, it's like he didn't do any less work on the writing. He just didn't make it sound like his signature. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't sound like The Social Network or The West Wing or those like really quick you know people have you know eight three eight syllable words in every sentence yeah. kind of thing going on well i also thought i mean and this is i thought they there were some interesting things they did with um her makeup and the way she dressed and whether she was wearing glasses or not you know sort of costuming to, to kind of communicate things that weren't just verbal, that they did a lot with kind of body language and... Um, yeah, you could tell kind of where she was at, yeah. depending on what she was wearing and all of that stuff. And, I mean, she even brings it up a couple of times. Yeah. To, like, yeah. the character brings up, like, I created another version of myself and yeah. that sort of thing. Um, so then there's this other, like... There's this really violent scene where she gets beat up by um, one of the Russian mob guys. Like they send like a hitman over to her house to rob her and beat her up and tell her that she can't say no to this offer or whatever. Um, I thought that was like <laughs> in terms of like the number of strikes, it was gratuitous. But at the same time, it felt like. Like, she was still getting up. She was still kind of, like... like You wanted her to get beaten No, 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 worse. no. No, not at all. No, I thought, I thought like, they could have they could have gotten the same thing across with fewer... Uh, fewer punches mm -hmm. thrown. But I think it was, like, kind of a showcase of her character that she wasn't just rolling over and letting this guy win. Yeah. She, like... He had to absolutely defeat her yeah to, for that to be over and i i kind of felt like not that i wanted the bad guys to win but i think threatening her physical being wasn't very effective you know if they'd really wanted to threaten her i, I don't i guess well, I don't, and that's that's how the movie portrays it too is right, that right she gets beat up and she just like Heals right. herself as quickly as possible right. so that she can get back, back to her job yeah. and, you know, get back to doing what she does. Like, it's just a minor setback and she had the time yeah. off anyway. And Yeah, I think the one thing that I didn't like about her as a character is that, and, and maybe that reason, is that I didn't feel like she was, she had any vulnerabilities really at all. Uh -huh. That she wasn't really she didn't have close relationships she didn't have friends she wasn't very close to her well through the movie she wasn't very close to her family although they all magically showed up at the end at her at her hearing and yeah 
um, that she sort of seemed isolated and, and at the expense of her sort of. Yeah. And that, that is sort of, I mean, so if, if you wanted to point at like the literal flaws of the character is that she's a drug addict and a criminal. Right. Like those are, those are like the, that's the full list. That's the end of the list. Um, and I would say that like, that's more on par with Aaron Sorkin heroes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't tend to have, he doesn't tend to write flaws for his characters. He tends Mm -hmm. to like give them things like alcoholism that they are valiantly battling against rather than like vulnerability or Mm -hmm. um, like, like, and there's that weird exchange where, like, Idris Elba asks her if she wants to have a family one day. Right. And, and she that, says yes, and you're like, what, why? Right. I don't, I'm not sure I believe <laughs> you. Like, you don't give the impression that you would want yeah. to be that vulnerable. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. But, yeah. I, I really, I, I like the movie quite a bit. Yeah, um, I did too. I think... It would be worth a second watching because I think there would be a lot of things that oh, I yeah. miss. Um, they say, they show in the trailer that they're using Michael Sarah, whose name is never spoken in the movie, as their like celebrity player. Mm-hmm. He's like kind of the focus of the first half of the movie, um, but he's not. He, they're not trying to play that it is Michael Sarah. I don't think. No. Not I think they're just like it's having just him kind be, of a wink to the yeah like but, a celebrity but, who will remain unnamed. Yeah, but it is kind of funny to think that like all of these like high rolling mm-hmm. guys want nothing more than to play poker with Michael Sarah. <laughs> oh, and I don't know enough. Like, were there really other famous people sitting at the tables? Oh, like did, you did they have other, other people? Yeah, no. Uh-uh. I don't, no, I, I don't. And I think, like, possibly, I mean, it's based on a book, which is, I mean, it's based on something that happened. Yeah. And I don't know which, like, movie stars were involved in it. And I bet they were probably pretty careful not to, like, th- sling mud at those people yeah. again. Yeah. But it'll probably sell some books, and that'll probably tell you some of the, mm-hmm. the names. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um,. That's all I have. It's good. Go see it. Check mm-hmm. it out. Uh, if you like the way we do these, please like the video, subscribe, check out all the written and video reviews at dalemaxfield.com. Thanks for watching.